Now force on a current carrying conductor, basically what happened when the wires are carrying the current. So there are two magnetic fields when the wires are carrying a current in a magnetic uh, poles. Like example, if I have a permanent magnet, so when we have a permanent magnet, there is a magnetic field of a permanent magnet. And if there is a wire which is carrying the current, so there is a magnetic field of the wire. So two magnetic fields are there. Remember, whenever there are two magnetic fields, they always interact with each other and exert force on each other. So first thing, the question is why the wire experiences the force in a magnetic field? So what should be your answer? You will always mention that the wire which is carrying a current produce magnetic field. And this magnetic field interact with the magnetic field of a permanent magnet. That's why it experiences a force. So force on a current carrying conductor. So the current carrying conductor or a wire produce a magnetic field and that magnetic field interact with the magnetic field of a permanent magnet and that will experience a force. So why this wire like example in this figure, we have a power supply, we are passing a current. So there's a current in the wire and due to the current, what happened, there is a magnetic field. The wire produce a magnetic field that is around. And there is also a second magnetic field that is a magnetic field of a permanent magnet from north to south. So two magnetic fields are there. Whenever there are two magnetic fields, there are always a force between them or they will exert force on each other. How we can work out this force? To work out this force, we will use a rule which is known as Fleming's left-hand rule. So this is a Fleming's left-hand rule. In this case, you have to use, it is same as like a right hand, same pattern, but instead of uh, right, you have to use your left hand. So in a Fleming's left hand rule, I will use my left hand index finger. My index finger should point in the direction of a magnetic field that is always towards the south. The second finger represents the direction of the current, in which direction the current is moving. And my thumb will represent the direction of the force, which direction the wire will experience a force. So as you can see in the previous image, if you want to find the direction of the force on this wire, as you can see in this image, the first image, if you want to find the direction of the force. So current, current is out of the page and a magnetic field is towards the right hand side because from north to south, So Fleming's left-hand rule is used to find the direction of a force on a wire which is placed in a magnetic field. Left hand you have to use. Your index finger should point towards the south. So my index finger is pointing towards south. My second finger is pointing in the direction of the current because in this example, the current is going out of the screen. So that's why my second finger is pointing towards me. Where thumb automatically point, the so first finger is south, po pointing towards the magnetic field. Second is representing the direction of the current, which is out of the plane, out of the paper. And my thumb automatically represent the force. So what will be the direction of the force for this? So in this case, the direction of the force will be upward. Same thing, you can apply a rule here. Your index finger is pointing towards the south. Your second finger is representing a direction of the current. And automatically, your thumb will point in the direction of the force or direction in which the wire will experience a force. So we always use the Fleming's left-hand rule to find the direction of the force on the current carrying conductor. So this is how we use the rule. Your index finger, like example, if I say this is a wire which is placed in a magnetic field, as you can see, and the current is going in this manner, the direction of the current. This is the direction of the current. The red arrow is representing the direction in which the current is moving or flowing. And I want to find the direction of the force. 
so my index finger my index finger should point towards south so in this example the south is on my right hand side so my index finger is pointing on the right hand side my second finger should point in the direction of the current the di second finger represent direction of the current that is going out of the paper so my second finger is pointing out of the paper where my thumb is pointing that is the direction of the force so because my thumb is pointing up so this wire will experience an upward force like example if you want to find the direction of the force we will always use a fleming's le left hand rule this is also the motor rule we can also say figure 9.1 illustrate the left hand rule which help us to describe the force on a current carrying conductor so the thumb is representing the force or the motion of the wire first finger or index finger what it represent it represent the magnetic field and it should always point towards from north to south or pointing towards south and what second finger is representing the second finger is representing a current there are more examples so you, how to apply a rule you will understand i will give you more examples to work out the direction of a force on a current carrying conductor as you can see in this figure figure 11.1 shows a flexible wire is there which is hanging between the two magnetic poles so this is a positive terminal so current conventional current will always move from positive to negative if i say find the direction of the force we are not solving the all other parts we are just finding the direction of the force so you understand how to apply this rule so how to apply this rule first thing left hand your index finger my index finger should point towards south so your index finger should point towards south in this example the south is on the right hand side so my index finger is pointing towards the right hand side my second finger should point in the direction of the conventional current because the current is going down so my second finger should point down so my index finger is pointing towards the right hand side south my second finger is pointing downward the direction of a current where my thumb is pointing that is a force so where my thumb is pointing my thumb is pointing out of the paper out of the screen so what will be the direction of the force in this example that will be the force will be out of the paper or plane of the paper that force will we cannot draw out of the paper we just represent or tell that when this wire basically this wire will come out of the screen as the current is passing represented in this question so why the wire moves when the supply is switched on basically two things are why there is a force so when the wire carry the current so the wire which is carrying a current so the wire which is carrying a current produce a magnetic field so wire carrying current produce magnetic field that is first thing then the second part the magnetic field of a wire interact with the magnetic field of a magnet 
which exert force so basically there are two magnetic fields and whenever there are two magnetic fields there is always a force and how we will know the direction of a magnetic field always remember the direction of a magnetic field is always from magnetic field is always from north to south so we know the direction of a magnetic field is from north to south so as you can see in this figure the direction of a magnetic field is always from north to south so that's why my index finger is pointing towards right hand side my second finger represent the current which is going down and my thumb is pointing towards me so it means that is out of the paper so state the direction of a deflection of wire which direction this wire will deflect so the wire will deflect out of the paper when placed perpendicular to magnetic field so what about the force about the force we are finding so how we work out about the force we don't know about the force where the thumb represent that will be the force so first finger represent the magnetic field second represent current automatically where your thumb is pointing if thumb is pointing out the force is out of the paper if thumb is pointing in the force will be into the paper